Hey, what's up guys? Chillix here, going back to Fate Zero. Last time we watched episode 11, uh, discussing the Grail, where we saw Ryder's, frankly, overpowered noble phantasm, a reality marble where he has literal hundreds of heroic spirits who fight for him because they were under his command back during his life. Like, that. Like, even if they're just, like, D-rank servants, that's still kind of absurd. <laughs> like, and the, he uh, supposedly wiped out Assassin. I'm not entirely sure if Assassin has been completely wiped out. Like, I know Tokiomi told Kire to tell them to win at any cost, which, I mean, I assume that means because it's a, technically one servant, all of them went. So I assume they're wiped out, right? Which is kind of a tactical error, in my opinion. Like, why would you? I don't. I don't know. It it, it feels a bit weird for them to do, for that for, for them to have done that, but I don't know. But anyway, we'll see. Um, and yeah, this is episode twelve. I forget what the name of this episode is. I know it tells me at the end of each prior one that what the next the, what the name of the next episode is going to be, but I. I I I free I I there's there's been so long between the previous episodes and the the the, the next ones that I, I I tend to forget, um, so yeah let's just uh quit yapping and get on into it. Fate Zero Episode Twelve starting in five, four, three, two, one, start. Lighter no hold you up. Yeah, it's pretty powerful. <laughs> it's, it's kind of absurd. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how you're still going to... I still don't know how you're going to defend against it. It's, he's literally nuts. <laughs> He has one of the Tosaka gems on that staff. I feel like that's going to be a problem. Uh, I, um, <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay, so I guess that means, yeah, so... I assume him saying that is like confirmation that yeah all the assassins are gone so Kira is no longer a master okay well at least for now because again obviously you know we, we know later on he's gonna get archer somehow or gilgamesh we'll see how that goes that new base. Where's this new base gonna be at? Oh, is he gonna be the Emiya residence? That'd be interesting. I just don't know if he had, you know, because he buys that after the war, right? Oh no, he probably buys it with the funds he has from the Einsburns. So yeah, it would make sense if he already has it. I guess. トキオミはアナグマを決め込んだまま。ロードエルメロイは再起不能のはずだが、ランサーは脱落し、新たなランサーのマスターが誰なのか。キャスターは。あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、
望みが大きすぎる場合後者はなかなか得難い人種だいずれも愚かであることに違いはないではないか True, yeah, he curious, curious got a point. Yeah, you're a bit of a bit of a sadist, huh, Gil? I mean, I already kind of knew this, but. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'm レジは使用されない限り現世に残り続け、最終的に残ったものは監督役の手に委ねられることになる。新たなマスターが現れる可能性もあるということか。そうだな。だが聖杯に選ばれる敵格者というのは、だから新たなマスターを探す段になっても、以前にマスターとして見込んだ人間を優先的に選ぶ傾向がある。Like... どうした先を続けろよ。Oh, oh, I, oh, I see. 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 But you don't really, you don't really believe that, though, do you? Like, Kira, you don't, you don't actually believe that BS, right? <laughs> 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 like, yeah, you're right. Like, you're right. Like, you're right. I mean, I guess it's a way to look at it. Why is it a bit of a sadist? Like, you know, it's like you're. Yeah, no, he, 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 want, he wants to know about you. He, he, he has a weird interest in you, buddy. Untenno canso ado? Seiba, Jitsuni Subarashi Norimonodes. Korega Watashino Jidaim Atarato, Omazini Wairanai. I see. It would have been interesting. I think it's 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 interesting. Yeah, it's kind of broken. The fact that they, they get these abilities they shouldn't have. I think it's interesting. 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 こんなにも戦場のただ中にあるというのはあんな離れた立地に城を置いたアインツベルンの方が異質なぐらいむしろ所在を知られていないという点で切り継ぐが用意したっていう新しい拠点の方が OK so during that they said oh, oh we're here is it the it is the Emia house OK お二人には yeah, I figured. Because it would have been hard for him to buy this after losing the support of the Einsburns. Even if it does look run down currently. <laughs> like, you see the stones falling on the. Was it the mailbox? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, you say that? <laughs> it will get fixed up. But yeah, it would have been hard for him to buy this after losing the support of the Einsburns, so... I figured he, he, he had to have gotten it now. When I said new base, it had to have been this. There wasn't really another choice. 
きっと廊下は板張りで星草を編み固めた床に<笑>昔日本のお屋敷を見てみたいって話したの Ooh, that's why I chose it, Iris. 覚えていてくれたのかしら I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> With how much he cares about you, he probably saw this place and was like Yeah, this is good ああ、うん。それは堪能できたんだけどね。結界の不設はいいんだけど、工房の設置がね。いや、そう、もう開放的な作りだと魔力が散逸した。ああ、ここも開放的な作りだと魔力が散逸した。ああ、ここも開放的
どいつもこいつも。ボンゾクナバカリでなんの面白みもないくだらぬ理由。え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、He also knows there's more to it than just being the Einsburn's proxy. He... すでに十分な意味があるのだ。最も多くの言葉を尽くした部分が、お前の興味を引きつけた出来事に他ならぬ。まず、お前が意図的に言葉を伏せた人物については除外しよう。自覚のある関心はただの執着でしかない。バーサーカーのマスター。確か彼らとか言ったかな。いや。綺麗よ。この。Why is the Berserker statue a look like that? じじょうのいりくんでいる人物だ。それなりの説明を用意したというだけのことだが。お前はこの男についてのみ、いりくんだじじょうが見えてくるほどの調査を。I <笑>私が彼を課題評価したことで、結果的にお前の余計な詮索を招いてしまった。そうしたか。では、万が一、奇跡の方向が重なって、バーサーカーとそのマスターが最後まで生きながらえるシナリオを想定してみろ。その時何
Say hi yo. So it's, be, so it's because of Gil that we got <laughs> that Kira Jibrilich went full on the sadist who wants to see the world burn. Like, we're not really see the world burn, but you know, you know. <笑>いや、な。私個人の要求で聖杯を求めるならば、それは斧が死をも敵に回すということになる。Do <笑> Yeah, he's here. You not gonna say that, say that right, but you know, all you've given him a lot of hints. Like, come on. Like, both of you know what's going on here at this point. Why? Why? Mm, okay. That those were those were so those were some interesting eyes for Gil. <laughs> um, okay, there was a lot of it, it was all talking. Um, yeah, so I I which okay I, I didn't talk a whole lot during this because it was it was just a lot of talking. I I I was trying to make sure I was I, there. There were a few lines. I'll I'll obviously when I'm editing, I I scroll through everything, so I'll. The the couple lines that I did miss, it wasn't many, but the the few that I did, I'll I'll see when I'm editing. But yeah, so okay, going back to because so, I wanted to say something about the Caria situation, right? Outside of the fact that Kire would get, even though he tries to deny it, the fact that he got. Some sort of joy out of imagining Karya's fate um, post the Grail War. Because he's Karya's dead no matter what. His body won't survive. I... I almost wonder if... Zoken ever even... Planned to follow through with his end of the bargain? Like, maybe part of... Oh, wait, no, um... I don't want to see that. Um... Like... The Forbidden Feast, okay. I... I Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Zoken would hang on to Sakura anyway. I mean, I, I don't know. It's it's hard to say, right? Because if Zoken gets the Grail, right? Because Zoken's wish was gonna be a proper immortality, right? I don't remember exactly. It was it was something like because his version of immortality like was eroding his his faculties like with every cycle. I think I think I think that's what it that's what it was, right? He wanted to. Yes, I think it was that he wanted proper immortality. I think. And so once he achieves that, he could make his, assuming he gets a younger body again, he could just go make his own children, I guess, and hope they have proper magic circuits of which to learn. The motto magic. I don't know. So I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he would let Sakura go. I, I just, I don't, I don't know though. Um. And yeah, I am curious about. I feel like I said I was curious about this like back in episode one <laughs> when we first saw them uh, interact. But I, I want to know more about his Karya and what's what's your name. Aoi? 
the Rin, Rin and Sakura's mother. I want to know more about what their relationship was, because... Like, did, were they kind of a, a thing before she ended up getting with Tokiomi? Or, I don't know. I'm very interested. And also, going back to Iris, right? There's two, like, there's two possibilities. Either she's still recovering from having to regenerate after Kirei stabbed her. Or her because her, the homunculus she was like considered a bit more of a success right but she wasn't unlike Ilya well I mean not I mean, even Ilya has her issues because oh yeah um so yeah it's either her still recovering and it was like issues with like her mana restoration or whatever or her homunculus body is breaking down which I'm leaning towards the latter because you know obviously she she doesn't survive till the end. <laughs> it's like like we like we we know that for a fact. Um So I don't know. <sighs> we'll we'll see. I uh it's just depressing, no, because I know, <laughs> like, I know Karia and Iris are going to be dead before the end. Because obviously, you know, that's, yeah, but. It, it's tough, even though I, I knew that, I still got attached to the characters. Like, I really like Iris feel. I really, I like Karia, even though he's kind of. His he's, he's 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 losing his mental a little bit. Um, I'm surprised his mental has actually hung on this long, because usually berserk like isn't one of the things about berserkers is that if the master isn't sufficiently strong, the masters like also go crazy. <laughs> so. The fact that he's hung on this long through probably f I, what I imagine is just sheer w willpower at this point. Like he want he's say he like in his mind he is saving Sakura no matter what. And it's allowing him to keep from like maybe he's a little bit unstable. I w I would he definitely seemed unstable <laughs> when we saw him uh last. But it's it's a shame that he 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 goes through everything he does for nothing. I feel I feel bad for him, but anyway, that's gonna do it. Um, next, what was what was the next episode called? Bacadio! The Forbidden Feast. Yeah, next time we'll do episode thirteen, Forbidden Feast, and. And we'll we'll see how that goes, and and you know Archer Gill, really poking and prodding at Kira. He's 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 trying to get him to realize, like, hey, you're you're fucked up. <laughs> we should. I don't know. I feel like I feel like Kira isn't so blind as to not realize the fact that Gill is kind of hinting at, hey, you you got command seals back again. You know, you should steal a servant. <laughs> Like, like, Kirei would have to be uh, a, 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 bit, a bit of a silly guy to not realize what Gil is getting at. But maybe, maybe I say that because I know he ends up with Gil. <laughs> so I don't know. But at the very least, it seems pretty obvious. Obvi obvious to obvious. But, you know. Let's we'll see how that goes. So, hey, Dr. Doc, doc, Slump. The hell? Didn't that end age like thirty years ago? <laughs> uh, whatever. Um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, let's get do it. Thank you for watching. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of rambled on there. <sighs> yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch you later. Peace.